Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can easily style the numbers or the markers for list items. So let's see, I was checking out Grand Rapids Community College, and I see they've got this numbered list here, and we can clearly see the numbers are styled differently than the uh, list item text. It's pretty easy to do, and kind of cool. So I've created a page that has a few, a uh, couple of dummy lists on there. Let's go ahead and do some work on those. Now these are just regular ordered list with list items. Uh, but I do have a reset rule that's taking away some of their characteristics. So using some internal styling, let's go ahead and change these out a little bit. How about uh, font size, two M's, make them nice and big. Color, the old Center for Disease Control, CDC, since I have a dark background. Let's do something like that. And I'm gonna put a big margin left on there of like four M's and margin bottom of two M's. That should help them pop a little bit. Oh yeah, see, with my reset rule, I take away the numbering. So let's put in list style type. I don't want disk, I'm gonna do decimal. And that will get us some numbers on there. All right, cool, so now we've got a basic list. Here's how easy it is to style those list numbers, which are called markers. So let's see, I'm gonna create a rule here for O-L-L-I colon colon marker. Now I'm putting the OL reference on there because I don't want to confuse this with another rule that I might have for unordered lists or bulleted lists. And then once we've got that marker pseudo element, we can do easy stuff like, um, let's change the color of these to orange, font size 120%, so they're a little bit bigger, font weight of bold. There we go, that looks pretty good. And then we can also step it up with a little bit of text shadow. Text shadow, how about, well, let's do three pixels to the X or to the right, three pixels down to the Y. Let's do about five pixels of blur and we'll do the dark 222. And there we go, so now we got a little shadow on there. Really easy to style those uh, markers, those list item numbers. But I wanna go a step further with my second list. Let's pretend that this is a series of steps that my web visitor is expected to follow. So I actually want to have the word step right on there. To do that, I'm going to create a rule. Actually, before I do that, let's distinguish this list from other lists. Class equals, I'll call it a step list, a list of steps. And now I can create a rule, ol.step list, list items. And I'm going to put in um, counter increment of list item. So I want to count the li elements within my step list. All right, well, that's pretty interesting, but isn't it already doing that? Well, now that we have that counter increment in there, I can create another rule, ol.steplist, um, li colon colon marker. Now I'm gonna be styling the markers for my step list different than the markers of a regular list. And for this one, I'm gonna put in the old content property. We saw this before with pseudo elements. And I could put in something like the word, let's do the word step. And let's just see what happens with this. Well, it literally put in the word step. Okay, so let's build off on that. In addition to the word step, I'm gonna do step space in quotes and then a space after that quote mark, and I'm gonna put in something like uh, counter li. Now I'm getting this counter li from my counter increment before. So this is actually gonna put in a count of my list items. And if I check this out, look at that, step one, two, three, four, five. It's exactly what I want. And I can continue on, put a space after that counter li, and I'll do quote colon space. So now I'm gonna have step, space, the number, colon, space. And look at that, step one, two, three, four, five for that list item. And what's cool about this is then I can go through this list and I could add two more items pretty easily to it. And then of course it's gonna keep renumbering for those. And if I wanted to separate them a little bit, don't forget we can always do something like margin bottom. I'll just do one M there and uh, put a little bit more space in there. All right, I like it a lot. So there you go. So that's how easy it is to style the list item markers for a list. Take care.